Good morning, everyone. 7.30 Friday, time for our Restore Health class. And today we're going to focus more on the lower back pain, a lot like a stiffness, lower back stiffness. A uh, couple things before we start the class. A lot of start people do a lot of those twist exercises, try to mobilize this lower back because it sounds like a stiff, like it's, your body feels as a stiffness. So all we do, we try to stretch those muscles and I believe it's a kind of little bit big mistake to do that. You can create the more damage to your lumbar area, lumbar spine. But the lumbar spine has been designed to be uh, stable and be strong. So we don't need to mobilize a lot. What we need to do is do a lot of those bands exercise. That's what, what we do. We're spreading our legs up and down. We build these muscles around our hips and, of course, around the lower back uh, muscles. And remember, the strong glutes, it's always going to help your lower back pain. If you have a weak glutes, if you're constantly sitting, uh, that's going to be the bad for your lower back. So get those glutes is stronger. That's why I always say squeeze your glutes, activate, feel them. If you don't, always tap them, see how they feel. Are they really tense up and hold it? That's the idea. If, if not, if you if you touch it and they soft, that means they not fire up. And a lot of people have been sitting and after they get up, they feel this like... Um, soreness in the butt and they, they, they think it's a tight butt but butt is not tight like those muscles are not tight 90% people who come and say I have a tight butt and I ask one single question what do you do for a living and they say I'm sitting at the desk for 10 hours yeah this is that's mean you're not your glutes is not uh, strong they always like inhibit because you push on them and also how do you sit those hip is not even if hip is not even you're sitting not even it's twist the whole spine and as you know those gel between our disc we have a uh, like inter, it's called intercollected disc and it's jelly part and sometimes if you're sitting and uneven you know squeeze let's say like a donuts you squeeze donuts from one side gel come from another side and that gel push on those nerve connections sciatica nerve and it's go all the way down down your foot uh, down your legs and this is what you feel another problem it's an ankle problem if you guys uh, if your ankle is not mobile and you you walk weird uh, it's know that springing system in your body it's all of course it's hit to your hip and it's hit to your lower back uh, also SI joint is SI joint pain we, we bend a lot uh, there's SI joint right between your sacrum and your big ilium bones that ilium it's a, your butt bone and that's the problem too sometimes a lot of inflammation people say oh I feel that pain Yes, because your hips is not even, hips is not mobile. That's what we're going to do today. Focus more on lower back. <clears throat> All right, as usual, we're going to start our class in sitting position. So find yourself in this perfect straight posture. Just imagine you have a little strain attached right top of your head and it's pulling you up. You can sit on a little pillow. If you can sit in cross leg position, sit down in uh, on the bench stool and go ahead, pull yourself up. And our first exercise, of course, it's an activation of your whole muscle, lower back, abdominal. It's called breath 360. We try to extend and breathe our body to the sides. Inhale, push your stomach forward. And when you exhale, through your nose, pull that stomach in, a little bit tuck in, Ex inhale out, and exhale in. If you have a chronic lower back pain, try the crocodile breath. Inhale, exhale. If you don't feel that pushing, if you feel weak, place your both hands on that stomach and breathe forward right, right down this direction extend your belly and when you exhale pull your belly in inhale and exhale inhale and exhale
Apply the pressure to your stomach. When you exhale, pull it in, hold. Now slide your hands on the side of your body and breathe to the sides, to left and right. Try to keep pull yourself up. Feels great. Couple more. Great. If possible, raise your arms up on those rib cage and breathe through your rib cage. Extend those rib cage. One more time. And release your hands. Go ahead, sit a little bit quiet and normal breath. See how you feel. You feel that start heat comes up in your body. And now we're going to start turning our head left and right. We're going to skip a lot of breath work today because we done this for the week. We did really good work. You can guys continue to do on your own from 8 to 10 minutes every day. And it should bring some a lot of benefits to your body, a lot of health. Keep turning left and right. Now up and down. Little restriction with extension for me when I try to look up. There we go. Now place your both hands and start raise this head up. Pull that fascia, feel that nice sensation. Great. Nice pulling feeling. Next one is going to be shoulder. Let's get that stress away from our shoulders. All we do is shrugging and release. It's called I don't know exercise. If someone asks you the question, you just shrug your shoulders and that's it. Simple and easy. Save your time. Feels great. And a couple more. And the last one, pull everything up. Squeeze your shoulder blades, squeeze your glutes. Pull, 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 pull yourself up. Squeeze them. Slowly release that shoulders. This is the great one. All right, the next one, we're going to turn our upper body left and right. Your hands is right here on the side. Or you can just roll it like this. And you can tap yourself in the back. Also activate your muscle. Everything you're tapping yourself. This is called tapping, clapping, cupping, tapping. Feels great. Activate your muscle. Excellent. The next one. 
uh, lion or seated cat and cow place your both hands on your knees and all you do you extend your chest forward and when you exhale you round like a cat and pull your stomach in so inhale forward and exhale in try to not bow your head move only through your spine in this area and your thoracic open up your heart squeeze that shoulder blades feels great nice next one we're gonna work on our side muscle side breath muscle hands up look up this time your right hand is coming on the side walk to the side lean on that side look up and breathe Slowly push this arm up, extend and feel this nice, good pulling sensation on your side. Breathe. Slowly push yourself up, raise this arm up, look up. Left is coming on the side. Walk to this left side, lean on left, breathe. Return to the neutral position, bring yourself up, right hand coming right behind your right side, behind the butt, left arm coming on the right knee, and you turn yourself and look to this right side. Very nice and gently, upper body turn, the hips is try to stay where they are. Breathe, you're going to feel that cross pattern right in here. You feel that good pulling sensation. That's what we're breathing through. It's not in the lower back. It's only upper body. Switch your side. You see, this one is turned this way. You feel it. It's And you also feel it in your back. We have those cross kinetic line. That's what you activated right now. Turn and breathe. Feels great. A lot of bands exercise today. I'm going to focus on activation of your glutes and hips. Remove the pad if you have one. If you're sitting on the stool chair, go ahead and find yourself on your back. And you're not, you know what? We're not going to lose the time. We're going to grab this band right away and place right on our ankle. So we start with the ankle. We're gonna, we can do that bug later. That bug is really important exercise for our hips and lower back. So the band is there. Pull your knee close to your body. Hold it. Roll yourself down. Your legs is up now, right in the air. And all you do, just spread this leg to the sides. Feel those gluteus muscles, your adductors muscle inside, outside, everything is working now. You want to do upper body at the same time? Great. Grab the long band and we've done this many, many times. Start stretching towards your chest. See how's that feel? <sighs> upper body, lower body at the same time. <sighs> Great. Return to the neutral position. Drop your both arms down. Legs, sorry. Arms down too. And all you do, start raising this left foot up and hold. See how you can hold. Squeeze the glutes now. You see that, that leg, the right one pushing down towards the floor. And this one up. So you create this, a lot of strength right here between your legs. If you start to feel weak, just help yourself. Like, you know, tap in your glutes activate them yep here we go get stronger switch 
the right one's coming up same idea left pushing throws the floor raise and hold feel that quads get active good for your hips great for your hips lower down and go a little bit further if you experience lower back pain now call your doctor call your physical therapist you might have some discs jammed to each other and you want to know why which one usually it's l3 and 4 but sometimes different so you need to know which one up and down great work all right next one we're gonna go to the side left and right so extend to the sides also my gluteus medius work right now I'm trying to focus on that returning slow activate all my leg muscle hip muscle hip flexors to core adductors everything is working now that feels great powerful exercise we put gravity away from our spine we don't want to damage our spine we want to heal it couple more great now re place your heels close to your butt and now we're gonna work on our glutes muscles and all you need to do just spread your knees a little bit on the side of the body arms up and all you do push your butt up and squeeze your glutes up and down bridge squeeze your glutes down up and down very gently the band is still there still on your ankles feel nice click in my SI joint feels great everything going back to the spots where it's supposed to be keep squeezing those glutes breathe we'll stay here a little bit longer so go ahead don't be shy here we go another pop feels great couple more we're gonna do a lot of those today and that last one push everything up squeeze 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 pull pull hold yourself hold here we go another click for me slowly lower down I feel all these glutes active now lower the band a little bit down towards your foot now we're gonna work in on our hip flexors hip flexors is really important to balance our hips if one of the tighter than other they always start turning your that ilium bone in all different directions one leg down one up hold this activates those hip flexors right in here in your abdominal area touch this area between your navel and your side your rib cage is right in here feel that muscle is pops feels great hold you can release a couple times and bring it back see how's that work hold again play with that now switch hold the right one yes feel that feels great lower back day we're gonna put a little bit hips too now you're gonna switch more off on your walk high knee walk and you know what let's try to stretch the band at the same time the long they're always on my chest so I can do in this I feel actually super weird because we activate our upper body and lower body at the same time we can also add our neck flexion too. watch look down look down look down stretch look down feels great release your neck release the band now our knee coming to the side of our body 
to the left and right. Activate and squeeze those glutes all the time. Feels great. Couple more. And the next one, we're gonna work on our shin muscle. It's really important muscle too for our ankles too, mobility. Pull that knee towards your body, grab with your both arm, hold in this position. Your head is pushing to the ground and all you do, you just move that ankle here, up and down. Feel that little clicking. You can rotate if you want. Oof, that's feel great. There we go, a lot of clicks. My shin muscles start burning. I'm activating right now. Switch legs, hold it, you see what I'm doing? Up and down, feel amazing. Couple more. There we go, good pop again. Excellent. Next one, you're gonna bring this leg again up like we did before. You hold them in here. Get this band and slide all the way up towards your knee. Right here in the knee. Drop that heel down again close to your butt and we continue to do our bridges. This time, try to open your knees wide and hold this band in attention like this. You see what I'm doing? It's always tight. Here we go. Squeeze that glutes and up, up. You can also open your knee and pull yourself up. Open and push yourself up. Or you can just hold it. It doesn't matter. Keep squeezing those glutes. Keep push yourself up. Feels great. Couple more. Okay, you're doing really good. Next one, you just push yourself up, squeeze those glutes, lower down, and flip yourself on the side. Boom, just like that. I flip myself to the left, pull up. This is called the clamps. The idea with the clamps, it's always return slow. So you extend and you super slow return. A lot of people doing this, no. One line, your body in one line. Raise up, hold, slowly return. Up, slowly return. Up, slowly return. Great work. Mm -hmm. This is the beginning position I will show you the next one now watch you push yourself more up your hips in the air it's not attached to the floor and you do the same thing clamps up and down you look directly straight burn that hip you feel that start fatigue in there make sure it's no pain Couple more. Oh yeah, they're burning now. And return to the lower position, lower yourself down. Move that band down. Move that band down. Here we go. Here we go. And all we do up and down, working on that glutes. And guess what, when you return, this muscle is fight very hard use the band return slowly feel great wow
if you want a more powerful it's the next one it's a little very a little bit advanced you push yourself in this position leg is stay there you hold yourself and you try to raise this leg up oh wow Whew. but this is really challenging so be careful next one arms in front of us and we work a little bit on our spine mobility thoracic mobility hold the arm here knee here don't try to raise him up from the floor and all you do try to twist to other side and touch your other arm on the floor your head is follow the movements so my head is try to watch my arm place right here return Feels great. Couple more and come back to neutral position and do my leg again. Yeah, the exercise, which is really difficult for us, we do twice today up and down. Couple more and go ahead switch your side this is how i do i just pull flip this way and here we go up and down slowly feels great couple more and raise the bend up towards our knee clamps make sure you're in one line and all you do open and close open and close yeah, you can have a cold hand here whatever behind your head open open those hips feels great almost there with this stance with this positioning now you can push yourself up your your hips in the air same thing open up and down let me go this way so you can see me feel great and release let's do mobility here hands in front of us and all you do try to twist and touch the opposite side touch the bush now make sure the legs is pushing through the floor All you can eat, all lower back exercise, great stuff. Great. Return to neutral position and look. Uh huh. And switch yourself to the stomach. On your stomach now, place your both hands under your forehead and start do crocodile breath. The band is still there, so don't remove your band. It's on my. Uh, knee right now so push your head towards your arm and breathe extend your stomach up like a frog and release Push your belly up. 
and release good pop for me can you imagine this small exercise can really adjust your lower back and i feel that pop why because like i said one side is more tighter when you push through the side you activate the other one and it's co correcting your spine postural correcting your hips really good now slide your arms in this cobra position on the side of your body right this your elbow closes your body as much as possible your head is down now you start looking up your head is coming first after this your thoracic your torso lumbar area extend all the way up look up squeeze your glutes squeeze them up lower yourself down very slowly vertebra by vertebra your head is going last now your head is coming first Lumbar area is the last now we do in extension of the spine now flexion lumbar first thoracic and head I can go all the way down because of the microphone and and down feels great breathe let's say you coming up and you feel pain up here all I gonna do stay here and breathe try to look up if I can go further, I can go further, 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 and all the way up. And slowly down. Feels great. Next one, we're going to decompress our spine. The arms coming more towards the midline, right in front of us. That was a little bit on the side. Now it's mid midline. Palms is open. Legs is pushing down. And all you do, just try to drag yourself and pull yourself forward but your butt is stay where they are you're gonna feel decompression in your spine little tiny stretch this is all you need to do pull breathe and pull forward feels great and the next one my favorite one lower yourself down and extend your arms forward we're gonna activate our glutes our hamstring quads everything this is the swimmer arms in front of us and all you do just shake those legs up and down up and down and swim now Add your hands, hands up, and you start swimming. Squeeze those glutes all the time. Up and down, breathe. We're gonna do two rounds. Up and down. and lower down rest a little bit yes activate your glutes everything extend your arms back up again and start swimming keep swimming Try to move your torso, everything, your glutes, and release the stance. Lower your arms down, rest, and uh, your band is on your knee right now. All we need to do, just lower this band down towards our ankles. So the band is on the ankle now, arms in here in front of you, and all you do, just start stepping to the side. Step to the side. This is like when you start, you want to do advance, you push yourself up in this uh, the push press position, push ups, and all you do is step to the side. This is more advanced. Or 
If it's too much, lower yourself down, hold your arms in front, and just step to the side. Now up and down, tiny bit. Raise only a little bit, up and down. And if you want to do a push press, push-ups position, push yourself up, up and down. Great for SI joint, strengthening those muscles. Keep your core tight. But like I said, this is advanced. You don't want to jump advanced if you don't feel that way. Next one, all you do, bring this leg up towards your lower back. We're working on that hamstring. Up and down. Feel that glute. That band is resistance. Great. Switch. If it's roll it, readjust it. Wow, the left hamstring is really bad. Try to pull more. Feels great. Up and down. And release the stance. That was great. Arms on the side of our body. Push yourself up to the tabletop position. This is the tabletop. Uh, an exercise right away. We're going to do P-Dog. So working on our glutes too. All you need to do is just start raise this leg up. With the band, don't release your band yet. Try to shift weights between your arms and the right leg. Because your left is working now, so create that stability in your body. Switch, lean to your left, shift weights to your left, left arm, left knee, and the right one, and up and down. Let me show you this way. But I mean, I shift it, and I'm stable. I'm looked down. I don't look up. I don't want to jam my cervical. I'm looked down. My back is straight. Feels great. And I'm released the stance. Release the band. We don't need to band anymore. We did good work with the bands. Next one. Here we go. Cat and cow. Great exercise for the lower back pain, sciatica. All you need to do, just drop your belly down, inhale, try to look up. And when you exhale, pull your stomach in and round yourself like a cat, slowly. Up and down. For me, my lower back is 100% better now. Good. Next one. All I'm going to do right now is try to push my butt down without bending or, or twist my, my, uh, my spine. I'm not doing this or I'm not to drop my butt down. All I do, just to see, same level. I just push through those hips, push myself a little bit back, activate all glutes, squeeze my glutes. Now from this side. If you don't know what we're doing, try to pull the feet ball and try to squeeze your feet ball with your butt, try to crush it. Now the le uh, right arm legs on the side. And all you do, just shift it back now. Now you're gonna feel more. We need that hip too. Push back. Switch. 
this one is coming midline extend your left one shift to the back push great return to the neutral position let me show you on this one and now you're gonna extend your left arm right leg flying superman hold and now touch your elbow and knee under your belly and extend Couple more. And switch side. The right arm, left leg, hold. There we go. and a few more release the stance really great we're gonna work on our hips right now spread your fingers wide step with your right foot back push your left knee up like a sprinting running try to run now take off walk your left where's the right one walk your dog now down face dog Yes. Right leg up. Turn to the right to the left. Stuck stuck this right hip over the left one. Push yourself up. Look through those arms. Return to the neutral position. Drive through this right foot. Step forward. Raise yourself up. If you experience knee pain, Put some pad if still pain. Skip this exercise, no pain, remember. Now we're working on that hip. All we do just here is tilt it forward and backward. Only hip. Yes. Feel a lot of tension in here. Tiny bit. Good. Really good. Return to the neutral position. Drop your arms down and extend your left leg further. Okay, you see, I'm rounding my back. So drop your arm, extend it. Now push to the side. What I'm trying to say, I'm round myself and go down. I can injure myself that way. So readjust yourself. Don't try to round. Push this knee to the side. Mobilize that hip. Feels great. Try to straighten my spine too. Working on those hips. Still pushing on the side. Now my right arm is coming up. I'm look up and breathe here. <sighs> Return, look down. Now my right foot is trying to cross my body and go towards this left side. This is how I do, very gently. Drop my knee, here we go, peacock, whatever. You see my foot is here. Drop my body all the way down in front of me and stay here, breathe. <sighs> whatever you can. Great. Push myself up with my arms. Now return my leg. Watch. Push myself up from here. Up. And easy to step back in the plank position. Readjust myself. Hold myself. Push myself to down face dog. Walk my dog again. Left side now. 
Now my left foot is coming up. Turn. Try to stuck to the right. Hello. Try to look up. Drive down. And step forward. Lean forward. Raise yourself up. Here we go. Let me show you this way. So I'm standing. Hip again. Forward. Backward. This one is really stiff. It's not as stiff. I can feel this muscle is really restricting me. I'm not gonna stretch this. I'm gonna strengthening my glute. Up and down. We're doing really good. Almost there. Saturday is coming. Weekends. There we go. Drop my arm down. Extend my right foot. Push this left to the side. Hello. Push. Breathe. My arms down. Now my left leg, my left arm is coming up. Turn up and look up. And down. Now drive this foot this direction. You see I lift myself up and drive my foot forward. There we go. Lean forward. Stay here. This is more for advanced, so start with the bands. Don't push yourself through what you don't really like. You feel experience pain or discomfort. Now my arms is up. Push myself up. Step with my left foot in the plank position. Let me go back to the neutral position for you guys. Standing up here and push myself to down face dog. Walk my dog again. Now, walk my arms towards my legs, hanging up here, and now watch. Drop my butt down and go to this deep squat. Mm -hmm. Try to readjust your knee if you need it. Push this elbow out and push those knee with it. Mm -hmm. Push, hold, try to pull your chest up. Ooh, and pull that pelvis forward too. Let's feel good. Squeeze them. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. A little bit open more wider now. Because you're going to drop your arm to the right foot, right arm, and start twist left one up and try to look up. There we go. I was looking for that. When you do this for four months, you already know which exercise is going to like adjust you and put the, the joints or bone or vertebra in the right position. Switch left one, and you look up. Ooh, wow, this one is stiff. There we go. Great. And... Slowly return to the neutral position. Watch me. Now you're going to roll yourself back on your butt. Grab your legs and roll yourself up and down. Yeah. Readjust it. Always readjust yourself if you need, if you're close to something. And return to the neutral position. 90-90. Arms up. And legs up, 90-90. We're not going to skip our dead bug. Here we go. Start lower your left arm, right leg. Up and down. Squeeze, squeeze your glutes. It's a cross pattern. Left arm, right leg. Left leg, right arm. Don't touch the ground. Always keep in the air. 
great. And return to the neutral position. Knee together, arm together, and extend your legs and arms at the same time. Now, uh -huh, two more, and extend everything down, stretch whole body. Pull your arms, and now try to relax. Let the gravity do the job, and feel. How's your spine feel? How's your leg feel? Are you feel equal on the floor? Like what I'm experiencing, I feel a little space between my spine and lower body more on the right side than left that's mean my spine is twisted what i'm doing here now take a both arm place on my stomach and start massage it especially that side which feels this tighter so what i'm doing here i push a little bit in and scoop up push down and scoop up like you put the jam on your bagel mm, bagel and jam sounds great that's what I'm gonna eat today. Push up. Massage your stomach all the time. It's really important. Feel all this tension, release that. Feels great. Excellent. Now bring your knee again high, spread your knee a little bit wider than mat, than your hips. And what we're doing here, we start dropping our left knee towards the midline. Don't move the other knee. Up and down. Whatever you can go. If you can touch the ground, perfect. If not, that's all right. We're not here to be a champion. We'll be here pain-free, move. I want to go enjoy my day. I want to enjoy the walk. I want to pl play soccer a little bit. I don't want to be champion. I just want be pain free. I'm 47 and I'm pain free. Switch side. The right is coming towards the midline. feels great now we're gonna add turning our knee to the both sides so both knee our arm have to be palms up in the same level of our face it's called a floor angel we also work on our thoracic mobility here so push your arms through the floor squeeze those shoulder blades and start drop your knee one side to another Feels great, both to the left, both to the right. Now, you're gonna start turning your head to the opposite side. My knee to the right, my head turning to the left. And I'm switch and turning my head. Feel that cranking in your spine. You're mobilizing your mid spine now. Up and down up and a couple more and return to the neutral position now left foot coming on the top of the right knee we don't want to do that we don't want to pull that leg and a lot of people try to stretch this uh, piriformis muscle we're not going to do that this time we're going to push this knee tore away from our body and drop this foot down on the right my left arm coming to the left side I'm look to the left grab this left knee and pull towards the bot towards the floor
and breathe up here hanging return to the neutral position switch side my right foot coming on the left knee just like that push this right knee away hold breathe now I'm dropping my right foot just like that straight you see push this one down and turn to my right breathe Return to neutral position. Grab your both knee. Pull yourself together like a bullet, like a cannonball. And all you do, just roll yourself up and down, up and down. And when you're ready, push yourself up. Great time. Return to your sitting position. Let me grab my meditation pillow. Ah, someone take my Ebby mat, so, but I found this meditation pillow. All right, it's time to close our class. We did really good work for our lower back. It's a lot of uh, lower back exercise and hip exercise. It's thousands of them. Just make sure you do the simple one in the beginning. Don't do some simple, like super advanced one. I saw a lot of people teaching some crazy stuff. I mean, you need to be truly be athlete and... Uh, be strong to do those kind of exercise but start with the simple on the floor because there's no gravity on your spine when you get build those muscles around your spine around this lumbar area activate your glutes you should be just fine remember if you like I said if you get up you feel pain if you walk you feel pain you need to see doctor you need to see manual therapist physical therapist uh, don't wait till it's complete it's gonna be too long I mean it's gonna be no one gonna help you it's going to be pushed through the surgery. You don't want that. So know your body, see what's going on there, and just you know try to correct it and help yourself. I got two bulge. I got herniation disc, SI joint pain. It was, it was disaster. <laughs> Constantly in pain. You can't do any lift. You go to, to the gym. You lift weights. Next day you wake up, you're in pain or stiff. That's not good. That's not good. So you need to correct it and have to do your strength strengthening exercise or whatever you do. All right, let's close our class. Great work, guys. Drink extra water. Enjoy your Friday. Put your hands together. Burn that karma. Now spread your arms. Feel this tingling vibration. Feel this is all you. You pure vibration. You are vibrating. And the high frequency is better, so let's vibrate in high frequency. 500 and more. 528, frequency of love. And see yourself for today, your goal. Maybe weekends, why not? Where are you going to go? You probably have already planned to do. Like where are you going to go? Enjoy it. Your Saturday, Sunday. See yourself. Make it happen. Don't let anything and anyone stop you from who you are, where you're going to achieve your goals. All right, guys. I place my hands together towards my chest. Feel this heartbeat. And all I do, bow to universe to give me another beautiful day of my life. Bow to you guys who support us. Leave your comments and enjoy this workout with us. This is great. It's, it's changing my life. I'm 100% say it's changing my life. It's not just... Uh, you know, I was skeptically think about all this stuff, but now I can see it. It's really beneficial for me and i continue doing that. Okay. Enjoy your Friday. We'll see you next week, Monday, 730. Have a good weekend. Bye-bye. <laughs>